You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at his residence in Abu Dhabi today the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. They conveyed to His Majesty King Hamad the greetings of the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, as well as his wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the King and of further progress and prosperity to the people of Bahrain under his leadership. During the meeting, they exchanged cordial talks on the deep rooted fraternal Bahraini UAE. UAE relations and ways to further enhance them for the best interests of the two brotherly people. His Majesty the King expressed delight at meeting His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, affirming the depth of relations between the two brotherly countries and their shared keenness to strengthen them further in order to achieve their common aspirations. Dubai Crown Prince His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, His Excellency Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Board of Directors Chairman of Abu Dhabi Airport Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamdan bin Tahnoun also attended the meeting. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King Endurance Cup for a 160-kilometer distance race was held today in which His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and the honorary president of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the victorious team Joki Manal Fakhrawi as the winner of the championship that was held over four days in the Bahrain International Village of Endurance. President of Bahrain's Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, was also present. The victorious team won the first three places in the main race with jockey Manal Fakhrawi coming first, jockey Cecilia Garcia in second place and jockey Jafar Mirza in third. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also crowned the three winners of His Majesty the King Endurance Cup for the 120km distance race for the junior and youth category, where jockey Ahmed Saleh al naimi from the Raoud team won the first place, jockey Sultan Abdelaziz al rumehi from al Zaim team second place, and in third place came jockey Hamad Hilal from the Knights team. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for His Majesty's constant patronage of the equestrian and endurance sports, which reached advanced stages in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that His Majesty the King Endurance Cup is a bright sign in Bahrain's endurance sport as is patronized by His Majesty among the many tournaments organized by the Royal Federation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pledged to His Majesty the King to exert more effort and sincere work in order to continue promoting the endurance sports in the kingdom to reach the horizons of aspirations and hopes. His Highness also said that the tournament's exciting competition is an indication of the great development and the performance of the jockeys who competed on the first places, indicating that the wide participation is a reflection of the development of the equestrian sport and the ability of Bahrain, which has achieved was a result of the patronage of His Majesty the King. His Anna Sheikh Nasser congratulated the jockeys who won the first three places in a 160-kilometer distance race and the junior class for a distance of 120 kilometers.
National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. He lauded the strong relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the U.S., which reflect a long history of security coordination and strategic alliance. He also stressed Bahrain's keenness on further bolstering cooperation between the two friendly countries. Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad pointed out joint efforts to combat terrorism and safeguard regional stability. He noted in this respect the inauguration of the strategic dialogue between both countries and boosting the Kingdom's standing as a main security partner to the U.S. He also reviewed the Kingdom's initiatives and achievements to promote peace, tolerance and stability in the Middle East, commending the U.S. efforts in this regard. For his part, the U.S. National Security Advisor expressed appreciation of the advanced level of cooperation between both countries, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further growth and prosperity. Both sides discussed boosting bilateral cooperation and issues of common concern. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Iraqi Youth and Sports Minister Adnan Dirjal, who is currently on an official visit to the Kingdom in the presence of the Shahd Affairs of the Iraqi Embassy, Dr. Mohammed Adnan. The two sides discussed ways to enhance Bahraini Iraqi cooperation in the youth and sports fields, as well as the exchange of successful experiences and opening more communication channels. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the importance of strengthening the Bahraini Iraqi relations and bolstering bilateral cooperation further, wishing Iraq more progress. His Highness Sheikh also stressed the importance of developing cooperation between the two countries in order to meet the aspirations of their youth. The Iraqi minister lauded the depth of relations between Iraq and Bahrain in all fields, including the youth and sports one, praising the efforts being exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to develop the youth and sports movement in the kingdom, which led to attaining great achievements at all levels. He highlighted the importance of developing relations between the two brotherly countries in the youth and sports fields through organizing joint programs and taking advantage of each other's expertise. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the chairman of the High Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended yesterday the competitions of the first day of the Saudi Cup 2021. High caliber racehorses from all over the world will compete at the various competitions of the two day Saudi Cup, the world's most valuable horse race, organized by Jajoki Club of Saudi Arabia and held at the King Abdulaziz race course in Riyadh. On this occasion, Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure to be in his his second home country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, to attend the competitions of the Saudi Cup with the participation of Bahraini horses in the main round alongside a group of the most powerful international horses. His Honor Sheikh Khalid added that holding the second edition of the competition is a clear evidence of the great success of the first version, reflecting the keenness of Saudi Arabia in supporting the equestrian sport at the international level. His Honor Sheikh Khalid also praised the efforts of the organizing committee in preparing and organizing this race, wishing the best of luck to the Bahraini horses. His Honor Sheikh Isa bin Salman lauded the outstanding level of the horse races organized by Saudi Arabia at all levels, noting that the Saudi Cup is an international sporting gathering in which everyone is keen to participate, given the major role it plays in developing horse races across the region. His Honor Sheikh Isa pointed out that the great number of horse racing events hosted by the countries of the region prove their great expertise in the field and keenness to preserve such an authentic, deep-rooted sport that is part of the region's civilizational identity. Bahraini horses are set to participate in the second and final day of the Saudi Cup festival, Simsir, from Victoria's stable and global giant from the Al Adiyat Racing will compete at the main 1800 meter round of the Saudi Cup for imported horses. The two horses came first and second during the Bahraini International Trophy 2020 Dark Power. The winner of last year's STC 1351 Turf Sprint in the Saudi Cup 2020 will try to maintain its title. The winner of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's Cup for this season horse new show from Victoria's Stable will also participate in the Saudi Cup weekend. Roman River will make its debut in the Saudi Horse Racing Festival and compete in the 1200 meter Riyadh dirt sprint.
The Ministry of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning announced that an ambitious enterprise to develop Al Fatah Highway and ease heavy traffic will be launched in April. The ministry added that the project is considered one of the strategic mega infrastructure projects that will contribute in developing the roads network in the kingdom by working to find the best solutions to address traffic congestion. The works, extending from Sheikh Hamid Causeway in the north to the Minat Salman intersection in the south, will also provide alternative options for the Jafar area. The main works will include expanding Al Fatah Highway into four lanes in each direction with the construction of a three lane tunnel each way at the intersection of Al Fatah Highway with Awar Road, the Gulf Hotel intersection, and the provision of a ground intersection controlled by traffic lights. It will also feature the construction of an overpass with two lanes for traffic going from the north of Manama on Al Fatah Highway to Prince Saud Al Faisal Road in Jafar, while the current intersection of Al Fatah Highway with Sheikh Da'ej Road will be closed. An upper bridge with two lanes of U turns near the entrance to Al Fatah Corniche for traffic heading north will be conducted. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 4,851 had taken the vaccine yesterday, bringing the total number of vaccinated individuals to 268,273. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 7,711 active cases, with 704 recoveries and 777 registered new cases. 279 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 481 were contacts of active cases, and 17 were travel-related. The Ministry also announced the death of six active cases. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.